It was a somber scene at Ipos Raja Pemaisuri Banun Mochwari Department as family members and friends wait for the body of Bukit Glugor MP Karpal Singh to be released. Karpal and his assistant, C. Michael, was killed when the car they were traveling in collided with a five-ton lorry near Guatempurong on the North-South Expressway early Thursday morning. His son, Gobin Dio, says his father had insisted on traveling at night by car to Penang. A lot of friends and family members from overseas want to come back and pay their last respects at the family home in Jalan Utama in Penang. Saya difahamkan kita berhasrat untuk menjalankan upacara pengumuman pada hari Sabtu petang ataupun pada hari Ahad pagi. Ini adalah kerana yang berhormat ada ahli keluarga di merata tempat di dunia. Dan mereka telah pun juga ramai kawan yang telah pun menghubungi kita dan uh, minta supaya diberi peluang untuk datang uh, dan untuk pay their last respects. Jadi kita terima sebagai keluarga, tak ada masalah. Jadi kita bagi uh, laluan, bagi sedikit masa. Uh, tapi kita akan membuat pengumuman uh, secara rasmi berkenaan dengan masa yang tepat uh, mungkin petang ini. I think Kapal is loved because... He was willing to fight the impossible fight, to fight the impossible battle. Those who are voiceless, those who are dispossessed, those who are defenseless, those who are poor, whether inside parliament or outside parliament. We know that in parliament he was a fiery orator, known as the Tiger of Jelutong. But outside parliament, through his court cases, he fought hard for the law to give justice to ordinary Malaysians. He represents a simple virtue that I think our founding fathers of Merdeka represented. The simple virtue of justice, the simple virtue of democracy, the simple virtue of democracy, the simple virtue of integrity and honesty. I think most important of all, the simple virtue of decency and respecting the dignity of every Malaysian, whether rich or poor, whether powerful or ordinary citizen. The party mourns his passing. The Penang state government is greatly pained and saddened by this sudden loss. And we are all very shocked and very shaken by it. And I think it's very, very heartfelt. So as I said, the, the, formal, the, the, the formalities, let us do it by an official statement later. I asked it to be issued from my headquarters. Of course, uh, uh, we will, we will, at least until the funeral, we will, if possible, we will uh, defer all our party programs. Karpal's wife, Gamit Kaur and daughter Sanjit, as well as Jagdeep Singh Dio, was also at the mortuary. Ram Karpal was also in the car was slightly injured with the driver's seat salvum. Karpal's Indonesian domestic helper, however, is critically injured. In 2005, Karpal was involved in an accident which left him paralyzed and wheelchair bound. Karpal recently stepped down as DAP chairman pending his appeal against the sedition charge of uttering seditious words against the Sultan of Perak in 2009. Perak Police Chief, Senior Deputy Commissioner Dato Akril Sani Abdullah says initial urine sample of the lorry driver involved in the accident tested positive for ganja. Many family members and friends have gathered at Karpal's residence in Penang to pay their respects.